Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I decided to do a makeup tutorial and I know everybody is going back to school so I decided to do a back to school makeup tutorial. I wanted to do something fast and simple especially because you know everybody starts school very early and a lot of us don't have all the time in the world to get ready. I know it's hard to wake up extra early just to get ready every single day but you still want to have a nice glow glam every single day. If you guys are interested in knowing how to achieve a very nice simple look for back to school just keep watching okay so the first thing I'm going to be priming my face I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Miracle Blur primer and I already moisturized my face and for that I used my Mary Kay moisturizer I also did my eyebrows if you guys want to know how I do my eyebrows I'm going to link my eyebrow tutorial video down on the description box so I'm also going to be using my pharmacy lip balm to just moisturize my lips okay so we're gonna start by priming our face and this is more like a pore primer it's supposed to erase the look of wrinkles lines and large pores you can wear it with or without makeup I like to wear it with makeup I mostly wear it like right here because my pores are a little bit more visible than everywhere else for today I'm going to be using my makeup forever HD foundation So normally I would do my eyebrows, eyes, and then face, but for today's look, I'm going to do my face first before my eyes um, because I did do my eyebrows first. Um, so first I'm going to be doing my face and then my eyes, and we are going to be highlighting and contouring our face now. Okay, so for highlight, I'm going to be going in with my NARS concealer, and this one is in Light 3 Honey. And for contouring, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Contouring Cream Kit, Highlight and Contouring Cream Kit, and I'm going to go in with cinnamon and nude together okay so I always feel like this palette is kind of on the drier side I believe I'm going to be adding some of my Sonia Cashew drops onto it so it lifts up the moisturization on this So now we're going to be setting all of our cream contouring and I'm going to be using my Kat Von D highlighting and contouring palette. So just to set my contour, I'm going to go in with Chopla and Sombre and I'm going to mix them together. Okay, so I'm only going to do this for my nose. I'm going to go in with Lusted and Lyric from my Kat Von D palette as well. I'm going to just use a KTB 163 brush. And whatever is left on the same brush that we used to set our contouring, I'm going to be setting the contour on my nose. So you don't want to add any more product because you don't want any harsh lines on your nose. So now I'm going to be setting the highlight points on my face. I'm going to be going in with my Bene Banana Powder. I'm just going to go ahead and add some right here. Okay, so meanwhile, all of our banana powder is setting. We're going to go ahead and start with our eyes. And I'm going to be using my Eye Kat Von D palette and my Laura palette. Okay, so for my transition color, I'm going to be going in with Lexus and Samuel from my Kat Von D palette. And I'm going to use a clean, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to start to add this all on top of my crease.
So next I'm going to be using more of a tapered small fluffy brush. You guys can see that at the end of this fluffy brush. It has more of a pointier tip than the other ones. It just helps me get exactly where I want to. But that brush I'm going to be going in with Luxus from my Kat Von D palette as well. And I'm going to add this at the outer side of my lid. Okay, so now for my lids, I'm gonna go in with the shade Light Pink from my Lorac Pro Palette, and that's this shade right here. I'm just gonna be using a flat, fluffy brush to pack and condense all this peachy, light, bright color into my lids. And I'm just gonna start to pack this right on my lid. Okay, so next we're gonna go in back with the same brush we used for our transition color and we're just going to blend out the harsh lines from adding that light pink color. So next we're gonna be going in with a very tight, small tapered brush and I'm using this one for Morphe. This is in M138. I'm going to be going in with the color Sable. Okay, so basically I like to use a small brush because it just helps me get exactly where I want to. So I'm going to be adding a little bit at a time like so I'm gonna get a clean fluffy brush and just start to smudge and blend this out <music> lastly I'm gonna go back in with my transition color from my Kat Von D palette and I'm just going to add a little bit on top and just make sure everything is nice and blended out Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay 24-7 Eyeliner Pencil, and I'm going to be adding this on my upper waterline. For eyeliner, I'm just going to be applying some of my L'Oreal Liquid Eyeliner. And So now that I'm done with my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and dust off all this banana powder off. Okay, so for my lower lash line, I'm going to use the small tapered Morphe brush that I was using earlier. And I'm going to be going in with Sable again from my Lorac Pro Palette and just add a little bit on the outer side of my lower lash line. Okay, so next I'm going to be highlighting the inner tear tucks of my eye. Okay, so I'm going to be going in with my ColourPop eyeshadow. This one is in Girly. Okay, so I'm just going to add some Black Ardell Wispy Lashes. Okay, so for highlight, I'm going to be highlighting my face using my Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Okay, and so for lips, I just put on some of my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Liquid Matte Lipstick and Dusty Rose. Okay, you guys, and this is it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope this video was helpful for any of you guys going back to school. So I wanted to keep it very simple, and I know the eyeshadow is really simple and plain. And if you guys want, you guys can always smoke it up more. I did try to do it a little bit smoky on the outside, but I didn't want it to smoke it out too much, again, because this is a school makeup. You guys notice I did um, do my eyeliner a little more thicker than usual, so at least it kind of balances out and not make it too nude you guys can make the eyeliner thinner and the eyeshadow darker it's completely up to you guys and this is it you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time bye